Hey everyone, First of T here. Thanks for checking out this YouTube channel. Congratulations, Sergio Garcia, on winning the 2020 Sanderson Farms Championship. Here's his post win virtual press conference interview. Okay, well, we will go ahead and get started. I'd like to welcome Sergio Garcia, winner of the 2020 Sanderson Farms Championship. Sergio, congratulations on a very convincing victory. <coughs> You're 11th on the PGA Tour and first since the 2017 Masters. Um, obviously, last shot coming into 18, third shot coming into 18, second shot coming into 18. Just a few uh, highlights of the week ending with that uh, 18th hole. Yeah, uh, obviously the perfect way, the perfect ending uh, for, for an amazing week. Um, I uh, obviously knew that, that Pedrito uh, Molnati, uh, he, uh, he finished at 18, so I knew that uh, I needed to birdie one of the last one of the last two or three uh, to uh, to get ahead. I um, I actually thought I birdie 17. I hit a great putt. I, I thought I made it. Unfortunately, I didn't. But uh, but then I stood up on on 18 and I and I did what I've been doing all week. You know, I trusted myself. I I aim down the right side of the fairway and just hit a hard draw. Uh, really really nice drive. It actually went quite long. Uh, because it was playing a little bit into the wind and it gave me the possibility to have an eight iron into the green instead of having a a six or something like that and then just just hit funny enough my last win Augusta well my last win on the PGA Tour at Augusta you know the eight iron on 15 uh, this time it was the eight iron on, on 18 so um, and to uh, almost hit the pin again uh, and to, to hit it that close uh, obviously it was it was a dream come true okay I've got one or two more questions for you but just as a reminder to anyone in the chat if you would please type your name in just as Doug Ferguson is done, I will give you guys a uh, shell. Um, Sergio, with the win, you moved to number four in the FedEx Cup standings. You're making your first start here at the Sanderson Farms Championship. Um, capped it off in great style. Just some thoughts on uh, being here and playing at the Sanderson Farms Championship for the first time. It's great. Uh, they've uh, they've taken amazing care uh, of us, Joe, and and everyone everyone around. They've. Uh, I mean, I I saw I I watched this tournament last year, uh, and I and I thought. Obviously, a friend of mine, uh, Sebastián Muñoz, won, and uh, and I thought that looks that looks like a really nice course. And uh, this year, because of everything, you know, I should be funny enough. Uh, well, the Ryder Cup should have been last week. Uh, I probably should have been in in Europe if things would have been normal. Um, and uh, because of COVID and everything, uh, it kind of changed my schedule a little bit. And um, you know, I'm 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 able to play a few tournaments in the fall. Uh, so. Uh, you know, it was it was really really great to to be here to uh, to play the way I played to uh, to believe in myself the way I did and uh, you know really really proud. Okay, well with that we will open up and take a few questions. We'll start with Doug Ferguson, the AP. Dougie. Sergio, NHL. Muchas gracias. Two questions for you. Um, when you it's been more than a year, just over a year since you last won at the uh, at the Dutch Open. Uh, is it hard to trust yourself when you need to, like you did on 18? Um, sometimes it can be, uh, but I think that the great thing about it is, um, you know, my my mind was very clear throughout the whole week. Uh, I I knew, you know, I knew what I wanted to do pretty much every single shot I hit. Uh, the only one, the only one that I would. Uh, I would love to take back, um, not, not even the one on eight, but the the, the t-shirt on 15. You know, I should have, you know, I should have hit it like a strong three wood and and, and deal with that. But um, but other than that, you know, I was, like I said, I was very confident throughout the whole week. I was believing in myself the whole week. Um, you know, I, I obviously hit a bad putt on six uh, for par, but I I stuck with it. I, I kept going. Uh, I kept believing. I kept. Telling myself you're doing great, you know, just keep keep doing what you're doing. It's 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 great. So you're not gonna make every every single putt. So, and um, you know, I was able to to come up with some some great shots and some great key putts on the back nine to uh, to win it. And and secondly, as much as you were yelling at your ball on the 14th when it was in the air, at what point did you realize how close it was? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, obviously when when it 
just carry the bunker. I knew I knew that it it was gonna be fairly close if it didn't bounce right and kind of got the slope. So I was like, I wasn't even sure if it was on the green. I was like, well, you know, hopefully it didn't bounce. It, it looked like it bounced pretty straight, but I was like, I knew that there's a little bit of a runoff area there. So. Um, so I, I, until I saw it, I didn't know it was that close. Uh, so I was, I was expecting it to be about 10, 10 feet or so, just right of the hole, which, which was already a great shot. But uh, instead of that, it was, it was probably about three feet, which um, you know made it, uh, made it a lot easier for sure. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we go now to Adam Shupak, Golf Week. Adam. Sergio, uh, what club did you hit there on 14? Uh, it was a five wood. Thank you. And. How frustrated were you getting having so many people, media, asking you what's wrong with your game? Um, I really wasn't that frustrated because nobody was really talking to me. So, you know, they had other guys to, to talk to and I was just working hard and uh, just trying to get better um, in, in every aspect of the game, uh, mentally and, and, and physically. And um, you know, I was just doing my own things, trying to uh, figure out what uh, what I needed to do, and and that's that's what I did. Okay. And also after the round, you mentioned uh, dedicating this one to your father and, and the loss of, of a couple of family members. Can can you share a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, my my father has a lot of family in in Madrid. Uh, he's one of nine brother, one of nine. Uh, siblings and um, unfortunately we lost uh, two of his brothers uh, because of COVID. Uh, one at the beginning, uh, um, Uncle Paco, and uh, and then uh, one uh, just uh, last Saturday actually, uh, not yesterday, not yesterday, but the Saturday before uh, Uncle Angel. So um, you know it's sad. Uh, it's sad, and 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 I know that uh, uh, a lot of families have lost a, a lot more people, uh, but um, you never want to lose anyone like that. And um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I wanted to to win this for, for them. Okay, and one last one, if you don't mind. What uh, what do you think this victory can do for you going forward with with the Masters and other events coming up? Well, it's obviously. Um, it's, it's obviously a boost of confidence. Uh, there's no doubt. Every time, every time you play well, uh, even if I would have not won it, um, I still, it still would have been a, a massive high for me uh, this week uh, to be able to, to do uh, a lot of the things that I did. Um, you know, it meant a lot. Uh, it showed me a lot uh, of what I, what I still have and what I still can do. So um, it's obviously, um, it's obviously exciting. I'm. Uh, you know, I'm finally very happy with uh, with the equipment that I have in my bag. Um, with everything that I'm I'm playing, I feel like I feel like I'm 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 starting to be the old me, uh, being able to hit shots from every angle, and um, you know, obviously it's uh, it's exciting. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, just one more reminder. We're going to go to uh, Dave Shedlowski, but just one more reminder. If you have a question, please type your name and if you have a question in the chat. Um, we'll go now to Dave Shedlowski. Well, first of all, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. It comes to uh, the losses in your family. I'm sorry to hear Thanks. about that. Um, just a point of cl clarification. First of all, I saw that you had mentioned previously that You've been sort of putting with your eyes closed maybe up to maybe three years ago and you did at the Masters. Um, but you don't do it all the time in these three years? I mean, you kind of go back and forth. Is that kind of accurate? Uh, yeah, um, most of the times. But then uh, sometimes uh, when it starts feeling when it starts feeling really well, uh, really good, I, I think oh, maybe I can just do it with my eyes open and, and kind of do it normal. Uh, well, I mean. I guess my eyes closed is probably normal for me now, but um, but then I realized that you know I get too caught up in in trying to to make it too perfect instead of just letting myself do it. And uh, you know you don't have to hit a perfect putt every time to uh, to be able to to be able to to make it. Uh, and um, you know that's uh, that's what uh, that's what I've been working on, and that's what I'm gonna. Keep working on, so don't worry. Uh, 
I'm still gonna be playing with my eyes closed for probably a long time, so uh, you guys probably won't have to ask me all the time. <laughs> I, won't, I won't have to ask you again after this. It was, it was phenomenal. Um, better shot, 14, uh, that, that five wood, or, or 18? I mean, they're both important, but 14 set up 18 in my mind. I'm yes. Yeah, it definitely does. I think, uh, I mean, I think if, obviously if I hit a, a good shot on 14 and I make birdie and then I birdie 15, which is which is a birdie hole, uh, then I'm still at 18. Um, obviously 14 was was very important because it uh, it gave me the opportunity of probably having to birdie one one of the last four to, to win it. Um, but then, 18 you still have to do it you know it's not it's not an easy hole I mean it's 500 yards and you know it's uh you have to hit a great drive uh the the, the pin was was a good pin on the right side and if you miss it in a little bit right it's it's a very tricky up and down so um to be able to to stand there and and you know hit the kind of air that I did and then hit the pad that I did even though it was only two and a half feet or something like that you still have to gather yourself and 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 you know, trust yourself and 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 do it. Uh, so uh, that was uh, that was really really nice. Is it easier to trust yourself knowing that you've been a good ball striker, a great ball striker for your whole career? I mean, this is what you relied on more than anything. Is yeah, the the great thing. Chance. Yeah, the great thing for me is that when uh, when I'm feeling it, I I don't feel like I even have to putt too well to. To have a chance at winning or to win, um, so with a with an average or just above average kind of putting week, if I'm playing the way I played this week, you know I I can give myself a chance of winning uh, almost every week. So obviously it's not easy to play the way I played this week uh, every single week because there's some weeks that you feel a little bit better, some weeks you feel a little bit worse. But um, but you know it's my long game. It's it's always been a strength, and everyone knows that. And uh, that's what I rely on, but that doesn't mean that uh, that I don't work on on the short game too. Good. Congratulations again, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Okay, we've got one more question from Doug Ferguson, and then we will open it up and take some questions from our Spanish-speaking media. That so guy again. One, that guy again. Time. Well, is is, is 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 Doug part of the Spanish media? Todavía <laughs> no. <laughs> You've now, Sergio, you've now won uh, at least one time each of the last 10 years. Um, is that important to you? Is that impressive to you? Uh, I didn't even know. Uh, so, uh, obviously, yeah, obviously it is, obviously it is important. It is, it's something that you, you have to be proud of, and, and I am. But, uh, but I, I didn't even think about it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I mean, you, you've, I mean, I've been I've been out here for 21 years, so you you know that I'm not uh, the the kind of kind of records kind of guy. Uh, so I uh, I've been able to achieve some of them uh, without even thinking about them, and and I'm very proud of them. But uh, but that's not that's not what motivates me. And I, I mentioned the Dutch Open earlier. Did it did it feel longer than a year since you won? I mean, when you struggle, does does your last win feel like longer ago than it actually was? Um, a little bit, yes, uh, without a doubt, uh, it does. It does feel, yeah, it does feel like like it was uh, a little bit longer. But um, you know, I don't take any wins for granted. It doesn't matter which tour, uh, PJ tour, European tour, Asian tour. It doesn't matter to me. Winning nowadays anywhere in the world is tough. You know, there's, there's so many great young guys playing, and, and and they play the game at an unbelievable level. So, any any win you can get, it's uh, it's it's always uh, something to to really have in your heart. Congratulations once again, Sergio Garcia. What are your thoughts on the 2020 Sanderson Farms Championship? Let me know in the comments section below, and please click on the thumbs up icon if you liked this video. Subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing the video also helps. And don't forget to click on the notification button for this channel so you won't miss the next First 2T video.